Yeah, I can also supply like. Oh, hold on. Here it, yeah, I think it would be good to have a little bit of that, you know? Oh. Gear. Yeah. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, no. Uh -oh. Oh. Holy oh, shit. Oh, 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 my God, bro. Oh, oh, oh. That was close, boys. God damn. Oh, my God. I thought you were gone. I oh. am. Oh. Hey, first of all, Dal, yesterday you came in fucking clutch. Oh, Have you checked the shit today? No. Oh. You were asleep, I think, when I tried calling you, when I saw it was 100. Yeah. Well fucking done. Yeah. Well fucking done. We got there. So what happened? Anything change? No, Anything... I, I don't know. I talked to Viper. He didn't tell me anything. I didn't make more money. I don't know if I should have waited for after the weather change, you know, to see if the money bump. Uh, but there was no extra money. I went to the fentanyl guy, nothing. Um, I don't know if there's any changes with our homies on the turf, but I want to talk to the company now to get the 20 buttcoin one because you guys told me they were better now. Is that correct, Sly? Yeah, mm, yeah, yeah. They are. I don't know if they make more money or whatever. Maybe there's something there, uh, but we need to figure that shit out, you know? Uh, but that's not the reason why I wanted to talk to you guys because you guys are the two main growers. That's why I wanted to talk to you. And, um... I promise, basically, when we hit 100, that I will be able to increase your pay. So you guys make some money out of the work you guys are putting out, you know? Because right now, you okay. guys have basically just gotten your money in return, you know? And True. we need product to maintain our role. That's why it's crucial for me to, you know, double with you guys and we keep a tight bond, you know? To make sure that we keep our position as the top fucking turf up there uh-huh so okay. um the reason i want to talk to you because i talked to sly and i'm trying to work out a good pay for you for the company and for the sellers and i want to hear from you like what you guys you know are okay with and my suggestion you know and if that's okay with you i'm not saying this is final but i'm saying this is like what i think will work for now for all the parties and if you disagree, please, you know, just tell me, be open about it, and we can have a little d discussion, you know? Mm -hmm. So, what I think right now is we are making 20 as assumable that we still make the $20 on the Kush. Uh, of a brick, we're getting 2k. For brick and maximum cost, it costs you guys $400 to get that brick. Am I correct? Yeah. yeah yeah so i was talking to you guys and thinking about the price around 600 total so 200 profit but i think it will be hard to maintain that i'm putting up 150 dollars per brick as an extra profit 150 dollars for the company the rest for the sellers Okay. Is that something we can work with? Is something that's fair until we can get the pay increase? Or what do you guys think? I think it's fair, to be honest. I mean, um, my spot where I currently grow, I haven't had anyone steal that shit, but that's probably the only risk that we carry, you know? If we're doing a big grow and that shit gets fucking yoinked. Um, mm -hmm. That stings, you know? That's a painful one. Yeah. Because they pull the fucking watering cans, fertilizer, paste out, but if that doesn't happen, I mean, it's 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 all good, you know. Yeah. It's, it's so, not a not an issue. From my point of view, it's two thousand dollars. We give you five hundred fifty dollars in return, so you have a profit of one hundred fifty per. Uh, that means that us who are selling, we are sitting with fourteen fifty. I take off one hundred fifty dollars off that to the company because they want the payback. That means our sellers are making thirteen hundred. So kind of like I trying to maintain the role of we get some money like the 1300 we can sell a brick roughly around 40 to 50 minutes when it's good so what I want to maintain is uh, I want you Dow to get us like 20 bricks a day and you and you drive 25 bricks a day so we're going out with like 45 bricks daily that means a net profit for you guys basically every day 3k 
Extra. It's not a lot, oh, yeah. but it's something. I mean, yep. that amount can increase as well. Yeah. If we have more pushers, because, I mean, KJ is going to work on something with some of the other people who's pushing up in Sandy. And if they're down to start pushing our shit, I mean, it's more money for you guys as well. Yeah, I need I need more grown basically every day. But I don't want to overdo it so we're sitting in every product we are not able to push. I think that can be a yeah. good start, you know? Yeah, what you get think? Like, let me hear. Sorry, I've been speaking a lot right now. I'm I'm cool there. I mean, it's that's uh putting it in the ground and going back off to 45 minutes, taking it out and putting it on the rack, you know, it's not like uh it's hard work. It's not like sitting up in Sandy distributing, you know, worrying about people stabbing you, you know, yeah. people pulling up, trying to rob you, cops coming up there. Like, yeah. distribution is a big thing when more, way, way more risk. Let's I be like honest. this. Yeah, exactly. I uh, Yeah, no, I understand. But at the same time, like I'm trying to say, you know, I don't forget you guys either in all of this fucking occasion because... Like I told from the get-go, I want you guys to make money. I want everybody to make money. And I want trying to be as fair as possible. And like I said, and like Sly said, you know, okay. if you get more money out of the shed, I will pump up your profit as well. I hope you understand that. Like, this is not anything final, you know? We keep it like this forever, forever, you know? If the price bump yeah. up for us selling, selling the shed, I will bump your price up as well for the product we're getting. Yeah, we all need to eat at the end of the day. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to maintain. I'm just trying to figure out the sweet spot right now that can work for everybody with the pay structure we have, you know? So I think it's yeah, fair like... Enough pushes? Uh, so, we have Nathan and Zulu. They want a thousand a day. That means that we... if uh, I think maybe four... And a half maybe it's too much maybe we should like start with 2020 3k or no four four thousand a thousand to sulu and then everybody else we need to push out three thousand and we should have enough pushers if they push 200 a day everybody who's on the app hmm. like i guess me and mike will push more you know especially now the reason why i think we need to bump it up it's not only because we have enough pushes, but we need to have enough product to be able to maintain the role we have compared to Cypress. If you catch White Drift. Mm -hmm. yep. And I think the pushes will be more than happy to help out, you know, and maintain our role to keep us at 100. But then again, okay, you guys so need to front a little, yeah, you guys need to front a lot of money. The only thing we yeah. need to work on as well is a way to make sure you guys get clean money. That is something well, I have. This is kind of where my idea comes in. Yeah, that's so like right now, KJ. Yeah. Um, like I said, I have a stash, and basically it's got like fifty something k in it. But the fifty k is not personal money to anybody. It's the squad funds from everybody going chopped in and shit at night. Mm -hmm. We turn the shit, we run this, the, the the money together, everything. So when we got to buy some shit, we don't need to go out on asking, yo, can you give like 20% of this, 20% of that? Like, if we can just have like a house or somewhere mm -hmm. where we know, okay, this is where this money is going. Towards the growers, paying the growers instantly. But as yeah. soon as the growers show up with the product, we give them the cash instantly. Yeah, I think the problem would be solved. 100% agree and that's why you know I've been talking about the second house to get that so we don't dabble in with the growers house is not doubling with where we're getting the product you know we have like two places so you Dre don't know about it I don't think you don't know about it as well but me and Sly yeah. and Perez we've been talking about getting a different house for the operation of the pharmaceuticals and the operation of doing the moonshine so your house is down here who is uh, drying and shit we get your product and we pay you straight up you know for the product we get it to our house and we divide it out you know to the people so it's kind of like an extra layer in case cops and in case whatever mm, okay Makes sense 
Everything isn't work, you know? It just takes some time to get there. But what you're saying is like a safety net, in a way. It's a safety net, and it's a way for you guys. When you are done with your product, right? You come to me and say, I have the 20 bricks. I'd say, here's your money. We move it to that house, you know? That house will be the house where we distribute it to the other people. Okay. So it's a safety net, and it's an easier way for us to, like, maintain... What we have you know yeah so you will not see me coming down you know like driving from sandy down to our house picking up fucking new shit going up again you know yeah exactly okay i uh -huh. think it's a better system yeah definitely then me and sly I mean, basically you dow obviously you live with me dow so like let's say for example i know that i'm gonna be around a week more than another week i'll just be like i'll hit me with like 10 20 brick on top of what mm -hmm. it is asking you for and yeah. i mean we could we could deal with that separately you know i'm okay to yeah. make separate deals with you too like yeah yeah, yeah. so you can make I some extra you. money it is what it is you know yeah. me i'm not really about the money right like i i just like doing shit yeah because right now in our house you know we a lot of boys but i think sly is the only one and kane that has Max, you know? Yeah. Max pushing rep, so. I mean, it's enough. I mean, if you if you say what myself and Day's growing, you guys can push out. I mean, how many racks do you guys have at the moment? Uh, like the size. We got 15 big ones, do we? No. Yeah, 15 big. Oh, oh. Yeah, all of right now production can hold uh, some total of 103. 103 bricks. Yeah. Yeah. What's our slide? I think like 70... I think 70 bricks? How many legs do we have? I have no clue. About I, I never I think really sat down and counted. Yeah, I think there's 10. 10 big bricks. ones or small ones? Yeah, 10 not big ones. Big one, so it's five on every, so it's 50. 50, yeah, sorry, not on this, 50. Yeah. Okay, so if you have and 50 and you divide it by three, that's 16. Ah, uh, 16. Okay, so if you can do 16 a day, then you can keep the rotation. But you need to figure out your drying shit as well, you know? Because it seems like your shit takes a little bit longer to dry than... Uh, yeah, I don't know why. Things. I don't know if I got my fucking times or my days mi mi messed up or what happened with that. Yeah, but because I mean, when I do a grow now, I'll know. When 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 Dre's product is finished, it gives me a number of like ninety two. When your shit was finished, it was eighty eight. You know, that's a that's a day extra. Yeah, it's literally one day extra. Yeah, it's like twenty four hours extra. And why it does that, I don't know. I have no clue. But it will be good to figure out because if you have 50, like what we do, instead of you doing 20, you do 16, all right? So we double around that. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But then you it know needs what to dry to in three days. The... If the wet quality was 96 when I took it, you know, when I harvested them, it might affect the, you know, the total. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I need to check if it's 100 before yeah, I put yo. it out of the ground. I'll give you a point of two. Do you just uh, do you just go up to your plant and you go, oh, it's all it's all ready to pick now, and do you just pick it? I I normally look at the quality, and if the quality is at full, I'll sometimes I'll take the the, the fertilizer off, but it's not like that lately. It looks like right. a whole bag of advanced is okay, used up yeah. on one plant. Yeah. Yeah. The best thing to do is like maybe use another one that you got from another plant and then put it there and just wait a little while. It won't even take very long for it to go to like pure yeah. like quality, like all the way up. So yeah, if you just wait, so like, I'm not mm -hmm. even like five minutes. Now you're right. You're spot on. Yeah. So that's what I do. So I take, I take like watering cans and stuff like that. And like, if I see a quality of plant and it's like, like and I know it's at like 96 or whatever I'll swap out the fertilizer and throw in a, in a you know the leftovers from another bag even e even with watering cans too I do that too makes right. sense yeah so I let's do this for a start then so though if you're able to do 15 a day 15 bricks 
that will yeah. be a total of 45 so you have some extra racks if you know sly needs some extra shit or whatever uh dre Perfect. you dre you do 25 uh right. the price for you guys in return will be 50 low well, 550 dollars per brick that we pay you guys 550 I'm okay cool. yeah mm -hmm. no what i'm saying right now yeah it will be yeah five, 50, yeah five yeah. five fifty yeah so for yeah 150 profit so we do that and then i will talk to the company guys and tell them you know they will get 150 profit and the rest of the shit goes to you know the pushers getting the rest of the money and if cool. we get a pay increase you know we just wrap it up a little bit more i put like 50 dollars for you guys you know and i put 50 dollars here and there you know so we check what this gives yeah. Yeah, yeah. If, it, if if you get more than twenty, you, you know, you never know. Yeah. Things can change up real quick. Yeah. You know. And how much? Uh, how many hooks are you using right now? How many hooks? Like, like how many? Like, how many plants do you have drying right now? Right now, nothing. Um, that 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 I gave. To uh, yeah, this is gonna be spicy. Eight. So I'm oh, gonna okay. do a grow right, right after this, after this meet, and then uh, I'll have it. You know, I have it in the ground. In the next hour, yeah, 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 right, so. and kind of keep the rotation from there. Look, I used to grow a lot. You can ask Sly. I got kind of put off when I grew ninety-three bricks, and they all kind of fucking just died at the house. And since then, I wasn't like really into it again. No, um, we just yeah, didn't that, have that, no that happened off of ignorance, right? Because we didn't know how yeah. it would have actually gone. I mean, let's be real. We had crack, and everybody was like, "Yeah, I'll go this, go that." And like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Real. Was hyped up, crack, crack, up, crack, yeah. even a part of all that, right? So it's like. We were all like ignorant, eager to see you not know, much money we'd make from it. But now that we know how it actually is. In exactly. Reality, and now I don't know if someone's going to sell it. in one day and filled all that shit. And then I was the only pusher there. Yeah. I remember that. Day. And then if we, if we, if we got to think on back then, pushing was horrible. Yo. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. we fought through that though. Yeah. Like, going to be honest mm. with you. We yeah, fought did. through the horrible days and we still pushed, maintained our position, and now we're getting the fruits of that. You know, we're at the top well, dogs. The problem and... is, we had like more than a hundred bricks on the floor. Literally, as soon as one rack is empty, he goes and grew more. Yeah. And it was yeah, all was... just going on the floor. I was the only one pushing, and it was bad. And I'm doing other yeah. things as well. Yeah. yeah. No, we it, was, it was a learning curve, you know? We had that as well. Like, we had, like, you made. What what was the big grow you had for us? Oh, uh, oh. I can't like remember the number, but I, it was a lot. 80 or 90 <laughs> bricks you basically put on. Like, we were pushing yeah. the same shit for, like, two weeks. You know what I mean? And it was going down. We get less money for it, you know? And while everything... And that's when I switch it up and say, Hey, it's better to do less every day and kind of, like, keep it fresh, you know? But, uh, yeah. yeah, you do 15 a day. You do 25 a day. We keep the, the right. 40 bricks. I will work out so we get all the shit on the streets on every day. That is my job, you know, as head of the pharma. You guys just pump it up. And um, in case, like, one of you, like like I said, not everybody can be around every fucking day. And, you know, that happens. People have obligations, you know. If so, we have a little less one day, but we have maybe something backlog from the other day. But I will always maintain you guys getting your money. You know, so uh, that I'm doing every happen. day, bro. If if I know there's a rotation now and you guys mm -hmm. need it, you'll never ever need to ask me to ever. You know, you, you're just gonna have yeah. us lie. Like, there'll just be endless amounts of bricks just coming. Yeah, just from bring today, me. You know, yeah, 15 a day basically. So I know that you're doing that. If I need to increase it because of something, uh, we have another talk. You know what I mean? Just keep it mm -hmm. open. Yeah. Talk to each other. Call each other if you need to take a break. If if I know that most of my sellers tomorrow are doing something else you know uh, i maybe still continue but i will tell them to push more the next day you know what i mean so yep and then i need to go through everybody who's pushing and maintain that they're pushing equal amount so i know that nathan and uh, Sula they want 10 that means that we have 30 bricks for the rest of the people right now we have me sly mike uh smalls Louis, Yuki. Um, ba, 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 ba. We have. What's the other guy's name? He, he, does he want to sling? Kane? Does he want to sling still? Yeah, he does. 
but you don't really have to include him in any calculations because he normally just dabbles from my stuff anyways okay 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 is he on the anita app or is he on the chronic app he's on anita okay because then i most likely will make space for for nathan and Sulu on the anita app you know since they will buy a thousand a day and if he could be on your app then you know what i mean in case he's doubling in because i need everybody on anita should be the ones who are daily pushing you know what i mean yeah the people who double in double out um it's fine with me but i just need to know that i can get you know certain amount out yeah it makes sense main pushers and Nita. yeah secondary pushers yeah. on my app Simple. yeah i think yeah. that will be a good thing to do right now and like i said i gonna um i know that uncle t i think is one of the strains up there i know the snake pit so i'm gonna try to get them on board as well but uncle t yeah I think Wait, he what's... he is the godfather, I think. I believe so. Uh, so they didn't listen to what I said to him when I try to advise him to go somewhere else. Well, right now it can be good to have them there. Since Troll. this seems like it's more turf against turf. So the more people we have on our turf to push our shit, maintain our position. Yeah, might have to the talk only thing to I need to make sure that Uncle T push our shit, Brandon. you know? Yeah, I think the person to talk to about that type shit is uh, is it Brendan? Brandon? Brandon? Yeah, yeah, he's the person to talk to about that. He's the one that called me and was like asking about Sandy, how to push, how to operate. Do you what to have do. his number? Uh, I think I might send him my number so I can talk to him tomorrow. But yeah, I do, I do, I do. Tomorrow we have 35 bricks ready to go. You made uh, sure of that. You start today with your 15 bricks. Uh, or tomorrow. Yeah, start tomorrow, I, I guess. Ready by... Yeah, you can I'll start, start today. Like the early I get it in. Yeah, because then it should be ready by Saturday this time. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Which is... Yeah. And uh, well, I will see... Gonna be a... The only, the only be a reason it would be better to start it tomorrow is let's say it's ready saturday this time you might have to try and get it out this time instantly mm -hmm. whereas if you do it I tomorrow know. you'll yeah. be able to get it early oh, yeah. just do it tomorrow morning it's basically yeah, and yeah, just true. start from there you know like it's all good yeah. we we're getting 35 from you uh dre tomorrow and we get 25 the next day and 22 the day after and then we get 25 day after that and day after that you will yeah. have as well your 15 ready that will be on yeah, so... Sunday, most likely. Yeah, makes sense. Makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Yeah. So that Tomorrow is over. Be... The calculation that we ran was from maximum quality product, and I think the maximum we've had was ninety-two, right? Yeah. Yeah. So if we yeah, miss any qualities below that, it's uh, you know, cutting in profits already. Yeah, it does. Yeah, I've tried a lot of ways to try to get it to go to like any higher, and it's just like. By the time I'm pulling it off that plant, bro, like picking all those buds off, bro, they're already like drying up in my hands before I can even get it back to the house. So, okay, so I went and looked at your shit right now, and those are 93. That means that it's ready in the next... Next... Tomorrow. Yeah, it's ready tomorrow, but I think it's ready in the next weather change. Oh, okay. Yeah, you see, yeah, so... Be. I think the earlier you can do your shit, the earlier will be ready on that day because you're doing it around a little bit like middle of the day, you know? Then it's yeah. It seems like it goes like two and a half day, and then your shit is clear. So if you're able yeah. to do it like from the morning, if you're able to, you know, I'm not saying it's a requirement. If you're able to, I think that will help us, you know, uh, extra half a day basically because your shit dries so quick, it's fucking crazy. That is one thing as well for you, though. I, I think, like, you can see how we are... Have our shit up and, and see if there's something, you know? You can switch up with your stuff to see with the drying process. I think you need to show slide. The slide can fucking quickly, you know? Yeah, put yeah. Put that yeah. in. Yeah. It might have to do yeah, that, I can, I can definitely. Yeah, he can but put it in. But then this is also something, right? If this is actually a deciding factor as to how long it'll take to dry, that means it can definitely get better. Yeah. Because our shit is done when it's 92, and I figure out it goes down like four every 24 hours. Oh, damn, is that so? Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, so it goes from 100 to 96, and goes from 96 to, to 
the fuck am I saying? 92. So it's like two days. Actually, only two days. You know, actually, what I might need is the amount of humidity and all that shit you have on your panel. Yeah, I, I told it to him. Numbers. I might be able to oh, mess yeah. around yeah, yeah, yeah. with that. Uh, where did I fucking humidity put that? is a big thing. Like, humidity is a big 141. thing. 141. Ventilation is a big thing. Heating is a big thing. And cooling is a big thing. It all plays in a factor of how fast your shit will grow. The less stuff that you have, obviously, will. You know, one day is a big difference. Like, it is huge. So, have you ever tried, like, doubling the amount of humidity, cooling, and heat you're doing, and seeing if it will take yeah, we one, need or, to one and a half days to, to as dry? Ah, well. uh, yeah, I have, but I've Fair tried uh, different types of, like, calculations of things that I could do to try to get it to reduce by even a day. And I can't. I can't even do a day. I, three days is, like, the limit of what I've got here so far. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. Interesting. Yep. And we're slowly getting a system in place and then we can, me and Sly as well, work on the system for cleaning the money and as well a system in place for the big jewelry rush. And I think, I, I think like OTT, like Ray and Benji love to do that shit as well, you know? Yeah. So yeah, we get a system in place and we can work around everything, you know, make maintain that everything is running smoothly and Make sure we have yeah. enough people to do everything we need to do. That's it, bro. Well, Keep communication, you know? And if you figure out something, yeah. we share the information. That's yeah, it. Just so. It's like you're going to have I your use. order tomorrow. That's going to be your way. The people up in Sandy are going to have their order. Everybody going to have their order tomorrow. So everybody will be having a product to be able to push. Yup. People can smoking up in Sandy. A quick one. I see um, Cyprus got pushed down 1%. Is yep. that how it works? Like, yeah. Yeah. So what I think oh, it is shit. when you hit the 90, because when we hit 93 that day, we got pushed down to 92 overnight. And the next day we hit 96 and we got pushed down to 94. So I feel like when we got into the 90s, it became like a war. It became like, if you want to get up to 100, you need to push yourself up to 100, you know? And push the other one down. And we needed to push like... Like from 98 to 100, I probably pushed three, let me see, 300, six, 650, 700 baggies. Those two lost. So we are kind of like fighting with what they're pushing. So if they push 100, we drop to 99. But that won't be possible because we have the manpower to keep at 100. Yeah. Will Cyprus so keep tanking? Yeah, so they will keep tanking yeah, probably will, yeah. down to 90 at least because we got pushed down. We have no product, but we can test it out tomorrow mm -hmm. when we have a lot of product. So tomorrow I want every pusher, you know, on pushing to see how, how much we need to push to push them down. Yeah. So now, now either do we, we might have blowback on this if, you know, people down in Cyprus don't like it. They might, I don't oh, know, yeah. there might be blowback. If not, if that's the case, um, my suggestion would be like, Obviously, got to defend what we got to defend, right? But at the same time, um, if we can find out and try to figure out where the site, the Cypress growth is, not in wherever it is, if we can find out where that is, bro, we could uh, definitely fuck up their do some damage yeah. with that. Yeah, because right now, KJ, I don't know if you know, but um, before, like, if a plant didn't grow, like it was just there forever, right? It yep. was just there for the longest time until like bugs and shit would come and eat it away, right? Yeah. But now you can kick it with your leg and break it in half. I wonder what will happen if we steal their shit, you know, and we push their shit then on our, if we need to push less, you know, and we kind of like fuck them even more. That will be something we could test, mm, but. Um, could be a way. Either we can break it, but what I would love to do, if we find it, don't do anything. We don't do anything before we know for a fact that we get something for being a hundred, you know? Just keep it there and don't touch it, you know? Don't make them switch spots, you know what I mean? And we can use it as something when we, we know that if you find one thing and we break it down, that day will get fucked for them, most likely. And uh, they will have yeah. a day, like three days in the future where they cannot sling anything, you know? We can time it like that. Because we know yeah, it needs like three days all... to dry. Yeah, because I'll usually just once I know they're dry, I'll usually like pick it and like I'll I'll kind of read the label on it, you know? Yeah, yeah, babe, yeah. 
see what it we, is. We do that, but yeah, we start like this now. I'm gonna try to maintain so you guys get the front right now. If you guys have money, just do the thing you need to do. You know what I mean? All right. And um, yeah. yeah, let me work a little bit. Like I, I've been pushing mostly. I haven't been thinking of a money system, but Sly told me about a system we can have in place. So I think we're gonna just adapt that and do the same with the weed shit. So we always have money to pay you guys up front, you know? The product is finished, here's your money. Then I get the money from yeah, yeah. the buyers, you know, or the slingers afterwards. So, no, trust me, we, we, we're kind of like working along the way and figuring out stuff, you know? So stuff will maybe change, but I'm just happy that you guys are happy with the pay we can give you right now. And um, yeah, yeah, yeah. we maintain our role. 